LA County Supervisor Janice Hahn assembled a group of experts today to make sure everyone is ready for a bigger earthquake or one that's closer to home. Certainly a good idea. And CBS 2's Dave Lopez is now in downtown at Hahn's Earthquake Forum today. Dave? And that's what it was. It was a forum, a learning center. Uh, everyone was breathing a sigh of relief, and they made it very clear that had this earthquake with the same uh, magnitude of 7.1, had it hit on the San Andreas Fault or much closer to L.A. than 153 miles away, you would have seen buildings that would have collapsed. You would have seen cracked streets. You would have seen bridges. You would have seen a real mess. And, of course, the big question at the seminar was if that could happen, if that does happen, when it happens, are we ready? So this earthquake in Ridgecrest has not increased the chance of an earthquake in Southern California, in the, in the metropolitan area. Uh, it has also not decreased it. I've heard plenty of people say, oh, you know, that's great to have this, this earthquake. It's relieved the stress. No, it doesn't. If you live anywhere in Southern California, the last few days clearly oh my God. have left you somewhat shaken and wondering. When will the big one hit? What I'm worried about is that our residents in Los Angeles County are not prepared themselves. Today, Supervisor Janice Hahn gathered a group of experts and county leaders to address just that subject. In a major incident, if you need assistance, it could be several hours to several days waiting for us to respond. Earthquakes are going to disrupt your normal routine and they're going to separate families and friends. And the message was hammered home. Make sure you have an emergency kit that has plenty of water, snacks, a flashlight, and this. Here's a cell phone solar charger. This will charge three or four cell phones and keep you going for days. And to be completely prepared, do this. That go kit that you might take from your house, you need a second go kit that you're going to keep in your car. Um, because you may, in fact, be in your car. And you also need to think about putting uh, some sneakers or comfortable walking shoes in your car in case you get stranded in your car. So much to think about. And a few myths to debunk. Don't stand in a doorway like we were often told, but get under a table. In other words, drop, cover, and hold on. And here's a few more. They're telling us now, no, don't run outside. If you're in bed, stay in bed. I like that one. Some tips to remember, and there's a few more. Also, uh, we talked so much about the fact that it was a 7-1 quake on Friday night, and we all felt it. I asked Dr. Jones, what was the level? What, what did it actually register here in Los Angeles? And she said the intensity level. That's what they measure it. It's a scale of 1 to 10. She said Friday night, what we all felt was a level 3. Again, 1 out of 10, a 3. That's the equivalent of a very big truck passing by you very closely. It's enough to make some chandelier sway, which is what happened. Do you know what the intensity level was in China Lake on Friday night when it hit a nine. Your point live from downtown Los Angeles, Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News. Wow, unbelievable. You can count on CBS 2 News and CBSN Los Angeles for continuing earthquake coverage. You can get the latest anytime at CBSLA.com, including links where you will find important information. Certainly.